Zapata. Revenge is what makes a man like you exceptional. You know nothing about men like me. That is absolutely fantastic. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Jerks, and joining me today is JD McKinney. What's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, today, guys, we're going to be uh, doing a quick review of Bloodshot, one of those movies that was supposed to release on the 13th, but then got like delayed because of the coronavirus. Theaters were closing, of course. And then it got pushed back to, what was it again, the 24th of March? Oh, yeah. And that was a digital release. Now, <laughs> now a lot of, of course, a lot of these films now are, nowadays, because of what's going on with COVID-19, a lot of them are coming out digital releases. Some of them being held because they know they're going to make money. Some of them are not because they're like, who might as well try to make some money? Uh, but this is one of them, Bloodshot, uh, of course, starring Vin Diesel, uh, directed by Dave Wilson, his second ever directing something i guess <laughs> but uh yeah we're let's just dig into it uh so we watched this together kind of <laughs> watched it together but we we're still apart yeah together but apart <laughs> but uh yeah we just finished watching it and we we're like sure let's do it so bloodshot uh is this is this from a comic book i don't know <laughs> yeah it's, it's, a, it's a valiant comic book um i've never actually read it myself so i couldn't uh, okay okay the comic book itself so yeah, it felt very comic booky, and like yeah. I was like, "This has got to be a comic book." It just it feels like it was supposed to be from a comic book, but yeah, it starts yeah. Vin Diesel. And uh, basically, the TLDR of this film is well. First of all, we're gonna be going into spoilers if anybody's interested in watching it. If you if you Spoiler. are interested, Spoiler. yeah, go watch it first and then come back and you know watch our review. Uh, so, Bloodshot TLDR, uh, Vin Diesel's character, what is his name? Garrison Ray Garrison was like uh, some kind of army guy. Uh, he ends up like dying uh, and then they take his body, fill him up with uh, nanites and then they do this whole rinse and repeat thing of him being a hitman basically for this one person who's trying to like end up selling the technology uh, like himself only, like him the only person in the world that would have this technology or know how to use it. So, you know, throughout the film we see the, see the rinse and repeat, the rinsing of the, the memories and all that fun stuff, yeah. but let's uh, let's talk about what we liked and what we did like. What what did you like about this movie? Uh, first thing, you know, I was really happy on the special effects. I thought they were great. Uh, even I mean, unless you look really closely, especially mm -hmm. some of those you know CG fight scenes, you couldn't really tell unless you were yeah. looking, you were really looking for it. You know, I was because that's my kind of thing. You know, and that's the only reason I could kind of see some of it. But I mean, they did a really good job on the CG fights. They did a really mm -hmm. good job on the on the, on the acting. Mm -hmm. You know the extra the effects were. Well, I think the actually the effects were on point for me. Uh, that was yeah. great. I really enjoyed it. That part of it. So I mean, it was. I really that was it. That was that was that was the big thing for me in that one. I mean, especially in a movie like this, you're gonna have to be CG heavy. Of you course, there's just nothing you can do about it. So, but <laughs> yeah, of that, course. That was, yeah. I mean, that was definitely they did a really good job on on making sh making it as realistic as they possibly could. So. Well, okay. Speaking of the the digital uh, the digital effects. Uh, yeah, I was kind of on board with you. I was like, yeah, this was pretty good. I mean, I was thoroughly entertained. I'm not going to lie. Like, I wasn't like, oh, this movie is stupid. Right. I mean, it is a, like, like I said, it, it did feel like a comic book movie. So I was like, okay, I, I kind of have to turn off my brain for this one. <laughs> you right, know, just, right. just let, let it go. Use your imagination, whatever. This is real life right now. And, yeah. but like, I was watching this with my girlfriend downstairs. And <laughs> she's like, she's like, Look at all the Jeeps. I love the Jeep. She has a Jeep. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. <laughs> she said, That's the only thing I like about this movie. I was like, you know, I hate you. No, but I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I was a Jeep. I had a US had a Jeep for nine years too, so I'm with her right there. Like, yes, <laughs> no. no, but but when it got towards the end of the film, it got really heavy on the CGI. And then yeah, she's dude. like do you think it do better CGI? That's so fake. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I'm like, babe, it's real life. What do you mean? This is all happening right now. We're live streaming this right now. She's like, no, it's not. I'm like, no, it's not. But yeah, like at that at that final scene where like the climactic like battle between uh, Ray and these two other guys who are basically yeah. kind of kind of in the same position as he was, where they got uh, hurt during like. Uh, uh, in battle, I guess, like because they were in the military too, and one of them had his eyes like 
blown out or something because of a, a id oh, what was it called oh fuck enterprise yeah it was destroyed by the ied that's right yeah and so he, he had his eyes like not re well replaced yes but he had them like like on a chest like they they're all like connected to his brain so he can see everything around him and then there was the other guy who had his legs like blown off and yeah. he got like new prosthetic legs which made him like super fast you know usain boat but on steroids right, yeah and right. he was pretty quick and like yeah this final battle like the cgi there i was kind of like okay okay you kind of you kind of losing me here <laughs> but yeah. i'm still it's there i still like it but yeah i, I did I, I did enjoy the movie uh, i i enjoyed like uh that uh what was that character's name the the one that was helping him uh like like kt uh, or wiggins Wiggins, Wilfred Wiggins, he was yeah. really funny. I did like him. He was, I did. Yeah, it was a good character. I enjoyed him. Yeah, he was a good character. Uh, KT, uh, uh starring uh, uh, Isa Gonzalez, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, she's been the in a Isa's couple of, like yeah. yeah, Isa or something like that. But yeah, she's been in a couple of films. We were looking her up. She's been in uh, Alita: Battle Angel, uh, Baby Driver. Uh, I, I didn't recognize her right away, but when I saw the pictures of Baby Driver, I was like, oh, she's her. Okay, I know who she is. And then she was an antagonist in um, Alita Battle Angel. But, uh, yeah, uh, we were discussing this, too, prior to the starting this, this recording. And we were like, man, dude, you can't hear her accent. Because she was, like, originally, like, a Mexican soap opera person. Right. And then all of a sudden, like, uh, when was it you said that she started doing, like, American films? 2007 and 2011, she was in Mexican stuff, Mexican uh, soap operas. And then from about that point on, about 2012 on, she was in couple of tv series video games and then she started doing movies after that yeah dude zero so. like like i didn't hear an accent i was like what the fuck <laughs> like, yeah she's, she's really good at hiding her accent yeah so she's she really good one. at doing that yeah. but yeah she was really good in this film she she was also like an enhanced person where she could like she i forgot what happened to her like what was it the, the... um she hit she was hit with like some kind of special like some like wow gas i don't know what, what, what gas they said it was yeah there was some kind of gas her lungs, that basically. fucked up her lungs and like she this guy oh we should talk about the the, the main uh, asshole here uh dr main protagonist yeah dr harrington uh played harding, by harding. guy pierce yeah, yeah dr was, no harding yeah. yeah and basically he was the one who's like engineering these guys like like to rebuild them you know we have the technology but uh yeah uh so I, I, I did, I, like you said, I liked the CGI. I did like some of the characters. Uh, is there anything else about this movie that you liked? Uh, like I said, you know, the CG was good. As you say, you know, everything was, was pretty good as far as that mm -hmm. goes. Um, you know, once we get into the bad of it, I can tell you what else. Oh, yeah, doing. okay, then let's get into the bad of it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um, you know, and again, it's, you know, like I said, this is a superhero movie, so you have to expect a lot of things, but yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't expect them to, re, you know, redo the wheel as far as the plot goes. The plot was pretty standard. You know, good yeah, guy gets betrayed yeah. by the guy he thinks he's supposed to be working with, and then ends up taking him out in the end. It just, it, it's pretty standard. Don't, like, you know, as, as far as that part goes, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't really try to come up with something new as far as this, this plot line goes. But again, like I said, I have not seen, I have not read any of the comic books, so I couldn't tell you uh, right. how it was supposed to go. So. But I mean, yeah, yeah it, was, it was standard. Yeah, it was, like I said, it was standard superhero plot. Yeah, you know? for sure. Like uh, before, I even watched this movie today. I was I was on my one of my friends' streams, and I was gonna t I was telling him. He's like he's like, what are you doing today? I'm like, oh, we're gonna review Bloodshot. So he's like, Bloodshot. He's like, man, I heard that movie's like plot is so like mundane and in the main villain is so like basic i'm like whoa whoa, whoa. Yeah. Don't, don't spoil it for me but yeah uh like guy pierce's character he was basically the main villain he yeah. didn't have any like superpowers or any of these like enhancements well, other, the, the, other than the arm but yeah. he really didn't even use it really like to like fight or like to stop him i mean you would expect something like him someone like him with all yeah. the all the technology at, at his fingertips that he has like he would have probably enhanced his entire body or something but i guess he yeah did I, think, I would have thought more of the weapons were more i mean you only had like one time where the weapons were designed to take out bloodshot that was the only time you ever yeah. saw that kind of a, a weapon otherwise it was just like they were using standard weapons against this guy that they knew could reconstruct himself i'm like are you guys serious yeah, you know, you're trying to use bullets against a guy that's got nanites that can re reprogram himself. I mean, well, like, well, the guys, you know. the two guys that were with him, uh, the two guys that were uh, rebuilt by by uh, Harrington, they actually did were using like uh, yeah, so that's the one time. You yeah, know? it was the one time they were doing it. It was like with that special knife that could get him right, right back right, on the right. network, and then and then the, the EMP bullet almost, you know, it was like. But other than that, that was the only time they brought out those kind of weapons. It was like really, guys. I mean, you, should, you have a, you have somebody you know has been fighting against you. 
that's just to be standard on all your guards. That's, yeah. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, actually, that too. Like, uh, I didn't like that that he was uh, Doctor Harrington was letting KT like kind of roam around a little bit too much. Like, it was pretty obvious she was going to betray you at one point or another. Like, even yeah. though, even especially when he, like, cut off her oxygen because he was able to, like, you know, stop her from breathing. Well, that's why he let her run around because he knew he had control over her. She couldn't, she couldn't do anything right, about Right, but control. even with that, yeah. I would have been like, like, nah, you know, take her out. Like, she's already going to, she's going to figure out something. I mean, she's not stupid either. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. I think probably what happened is they didn't, I read another show in the movie, I think he had kind of, he probably had like a little crush on her or something, you know, kind of <laughs> infatuation. Did. You know, I mean, she was a, she was an attractive girl. I, mean, I didn't see that happening. So, <laughs> but yeah, like, didn't, didn't want to kill her. I mean, other than that, I think this movie overall, it, it, I, I would say go watch it. I think it's entertaining to watch. I think it's a good yeah. like distraction from what's going on now. Uh, but yeah, I think Vin Diesel. This actually, you know what? This this movie actually gave me a lot of vibes, and it might, makes me want to go watch uh, Pitch Black. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, that's yeah, like, a good one. Yeah, it's that's such a first great movie. Myself. Yeah, yeah, like I, I want to. Uh, it's making me want to go rewatch it because it always has. I mean, this film had it too, where like you know it had the t- the the vintage Diesel like little dialogue where it was like super fucking deep and all. Yeah, like, I'm like, like oh shit, that reminds me of Pitch Black. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I would say watch it. I, I think it's it's a good watch, especially uh, again with this uh, to distract yourself. Uh, don't expect it to be like high class type of movie. Again, turn off your brain and, and enjoy it for like yeah. what was it, an hour and a half? It didn't like really that, seem that long. Half, yeah, yeah it really half. didn't seem that long. Which is another good thing about it. It wasn't a very. Really, it was a good action. Yeah, movie. it had it a good pace. Didn't try to give you yeah. too much, too, too much. You know, like I said, the meat and potatoes. They didn't try to give you too much meat, tomatoes. They gave you a bunch of meat. You know, and I was, <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of action. You got a lot of energy in our movie. movie so, a bunch of meat. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. You're, when you see an action movie, you want a lot, a lot of that. You don't want a lot of a filler. You want a lot of good action coming in, and you know, give us a little bit of storyline. Yeah, a little bit of a backdrop, but yeah. don't give us a whole bunch of romance and stuff like that. We want an action movie. We don't want romance. <laughs> but we'll see a superhero, a superhero movie to go see romance. We'll see action. Yeah, so. actually, I did like that too. They didn't like end up like having them like the the KT and like Bloodshot's uh, character like all of a sudden like start making out or whatever. I did right, like that they know? kept them separate like that and, and had yeah. them work working together kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, overall, what do you think? Uh, what are you rating this movie? Um, I said, uh, are we going on a scale of ten or five? Yeah, we'll just go one to ten. One to ten. I give it a seven. I a seven, a seven, solid seven. You know? yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah I actually I think I'm in the same ballpark as you. I'll, I'll give it a seven as well. Yeah, I mean, then you, if you look on tomatoes, it got a thirty percent on the tomatoes, rotten tomatoes, but it rotten got a seventy percent. Rotten tomatoes got a thirty percent. Well, oh, thing, but it got a seventy percent audience score. Ah, so, okay. So, you know, I was actually yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, yeah, it's so. not for the people who like who are daily watching films and rating them. This is for right. like everyday person who really doesn't care. Like, like for the highbrow, lowbrow, whatever of the film. Like, right. they're just there to enjoy the movie as is. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. All right, then. Well, I guess we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for everybody right. watching this uh, quick review of Bloodshot. Uh, as always, our main podcast comes out every Monday. Uh, uh, audio versions come out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Cast, anywhere audio uh, podcasting platforms you can listen to. Uh, of course, you can find us the video version on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the three-way podcast. And on Wednesdays, you'll catch the Humpday Shows where we review, talk about mostly about anything whatever we want to <laughs> hey jd i never actually asked you do you want to plug anything <laughs> <laughs> you know, know i'll be honest a lot of my stuff i mean well, later on in, in the, as the, as this, once my semester is done with school i'll probably be starting doing some stuff right now i got my twitter and i got my uh my TikTok. yeah i well, I'll think i work on right now so yeah i got your twitter in the in the description all yeah, yeah yeah so all right then I mean, well, that's something i'm really playing with so <laughs> I'll get them, YouTube, you know, I'll be working on it once I get some more equipment, so I will work on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again, and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Good night. Right. Peace out. Bye.